time to sing and have some fun. We're gonna hear God's word before we're done. We're gonna dance. We're gonna shout. be back. I was feeling a little sick the last couple of weeks, so I'm super happy to be back with you and feeling strong and better. Oh, and our friend Hamilton was so sad that Miss Alyssa was sick and he felt really bad about it. Should we call Hamilton today and see how he's doing? Yeah, let's do it. All right, on the count of three. Let's call for Hamilton. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, Hamilton, where are you? Oh, look. Hi, Hamilton. Good to see you. Oh, look at friends. He's waving to you. Hi, can you say hi? Yeah. Good job. Oh, friends, I'm so glad to be back together with you. Hamilton is feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, let's get started with our story today. Friends, did you know that our God is strong? Can you do that? Can you make big, strong muscles? Even though we're making big, strong muscles, we're not as strong as God. God is strong, yeah. And friends, today we're going to worship God. Do you know about that word, worship? Well, worship means that we are giving praises to God and telling him how amazing he is. And there are so many ways we can do that. Isn't that right, Hamilton? Yeah. So today, Mrs. Damsgaard or Miss Lissa is going to show you a couple different ways to worship God. And the first way we can worship God is with our mouth. Friends, let's shout out some amazing things about our God. All right, let's say Jesus is awesome. Okay, one, two, three, you ready? Jesus is awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's try it again. Let's say our God is big. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Our God is big. Woo! Yeah! All right, let's do one more. Let's say God loves us. You ready? Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. God loves us! Woohoo! Friends, we can worship God with our mouth. That was great, Hamilton. <laughs> Good job. Well, there are some other ways we can worship too. You want to check it out? Hamilton wants to show you this part. It's his favorite. Look what we have at his house. <gasps> can you hear that, friends? They shake. They're rattles. Yeah, maracas. Ooh, and we can sing songs to Jesus using instruments. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Yay! Oh, friends, I hope today in your lesson you'll get a chance to play with instruments and worship God with music. That's so fun, isn't it, Hamilton? Did you know that there's another way we can worship God? Yeah! Can I show you something that Hamilton's been working on? Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's so beautiful, Hamilton. Hamilton made this out of clay. He put all the pieces together and made a beautiful rainbow. Who made the rainbow, friends? God did! That's right! 
we can worship God with our artwork and give glory to God for his amazing creation. God made rainbows. Boy, God did a great job making rainbows, didn't he, Hamilton? They're so beautiful. All right, our last way we can worship God is by his word. And there is a really great verse that I want to say to you guys today. And it goes like this. You ready? Uh, let's see. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the sheep of His pasture. Or we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hands. Just the sheep in his hands. All right. So we can sing our praise and worship from our verses in the Bible. That was a verse in the Bible. Psalms 95, 6 through 7. Yeah. And somebody put it to a song. So they sing the song as they're singing God's word. That's another way we can worship God. Sing or singing his word. Ah. Oh, I love all of these ways of worshiping God. Friends, I hope you did too. May you know that God loves you and we should worship him. All right, Hamilton, I think we need to say goodbye to our friends. Can you say goodbye? Aw, bye friends. See you next time. <laughs>